Today, we have the top PWHL highlights of New York at Boston on March 10th. It's picked up behind by Toppany, who was involved in the first ever trade in the PWHL, came to Boston a couple of weeks ago, and now being paired with Alina Mueller and forcing Mueller out to the wing. But Courtney Kessel talked about it with us today. She's really embraced that role, and they're pretty happy with what they have with that combination. Okay, it's... Played forward, Arard is right there, and then actually got a second effort on it. And it just missed wide. Puck is still loose in front of the net. No one's on it. Pack can try, with a great chance coming in by Taylor Baker. And now Boston comes out with it. Numbers here back, Shirley make. It's nice to see Shirley back in the lineup as well. She was out for a few games with injury. Stepping right back in, taking more minutes. There is Vespa's try that just missed wide. So good, lively, open ice action here in the first three minutes. Kelly had a little bit of pressure on her from Alexandra LaBelle. As Boston tries to dig it out of their own end. Boston in fourth place, 18 points overall in the standings. New York is at 16 points on the year. One more game play. Can we talk to... It's turned over. Myron's shot was blocked and then ran over her own defender as it's caught up on the near wall. When, when we talked to Courtney Kessel earlier today about the playoff race and the gold plan, which is supposed to prevent tanking, she said, I don't know if we're, that's even going to come into play this season. It could come down to the very last game uh, before we really know who the four playoff teams are. Sonny, I never really had a look on goal. That was a good job by Di Girolamo to come back into the play. Not that, not that puck into the corner. Not a good four check here by New York. Clean exits from their zone. That's really how they beat Boston in the first game. They were able to force several turnovers in Boston's zone into the ice. That's what happened for two of those three Jade Downey Landry goals and for just turnovers on the way out Center of the zone. Pass and bounces in from underneath the goal line. That's why you just throw it on, kids, and Brandt will take it for a 1-0 Boston lead. So Hannah Brandt, her third goal of the season. That's what happens when you throw pucks to the net, right? You you get, sometimes you get those bounces, and Brandt is such a strong player. You see her, she throws it from behind the goal line, and this is intended to be a pass out in front. Nobody was really there, though, so she banks it in off the back shoulder. Yeah, I think it might have deflected off the stick of Levy and then hopped up, as you said. Off angle, Levy did get it, sliding to her right, though. Knocked down by Lauren Gable and keeps it in. De Girolamo plays it off the wall near side. Shirley back for Gable. A little bit of space on the opposite side, but Saulnier did a good job to get her stick in the passing lane. 27 seconds remains on the penalty time. Lauren walks it down for Gable. This unit's been out there for a while. That shot's in. Rebound try. Oh, what a save by Levy! Diving across to take away a wide open net. And another chance for Di Girolamo off of a great chance for Boston. Here is Morin. Walks down with five seconds remaining on the penalty time. Morin will cycle around. Thrown towards the net by Shirley. And the penalty is out. Even strength hockey as Di Girolamo comes in. Tried to throw his shot towards the net, but Hobson blocked it in behind. It is hard to believe that power play hasn't scored. Just watching the opportunities they got. Where it came from is the captain, Zandi Hart. It hit off of her stick, picked up right in front. Good save, Levy for the, the dump in and just make the simple play, get the puck deep, chase it down, win the board battle, and Brent did so. And a chance on a breakaway for Pilkey, saved by Abby Levy. There, but Mueller keeps it in. And the power play remains alive. Knight plays it across, pass from Mueller though, was taken away as it got caught in the skates of Alexandra LaBelle, who knocks it out to center. It's a two on one back for Hobson, who hit the post. Wow, that was almost a jailbreak goal right there yes, by Hobson. it Hobson's. was. Three on one back for Boston. Rattray is somehow denied. Lauren Gable picks it up. And to the power play that they had so far. They've made the adjustments already today to have Gigi Marvin net front, as well as Mueller on the wing. They've, they've made some good adjustments. Di Girolamo throws it on. Tappany got a piece. That throws it. That hit the back of the pad of Levy, but it didn't go. So, Watch here, this hit from a little bit of the blind side kind of comes onto the back. Downey Landry 
seemed to hurt Keller a little bit, and so the retaliation comes with Knight coming throughout the game. So she was getting in the right spots for her, trying to just feed her down low. But the Boston defense, Deidre Alamo and Keller did a great job denying her that pass across. Squirts out, and a good chance. Deidre Rolamo that time from the blue line. Centering try, Brant goes wide with it, and Jesse Eldridge was right there. Coach Kessel talked to us about Deidre Alamo before the game. She said over the last two games, she's really shown her growth, and she's been more physical, and you can see her coming into her own here. This, this game in particular, too, you see that movement. Deidre Alamo steps up on it again after it looked like New York had a chance to clear. Down to the wall, and it is forced to center. Jaguer reaching back for it, nearly had a breakaway. Healy just at the last second getting the stick on it to stop that breakaway. This line hasn't got a whole lot of time, especially because of the special teams, but Jaguer is someone that can score in that kind of situation if you give her the space. And she's the one in deep once again with a lot of green sweaters in the way. Jaguer looking for help. Arcangelo all over her. Jaguar does come all the way in, got in front, waiting, and scores! What a play by Elizabeth Jaguar for her first goal of the season, and New York ties it 1-1. Elizabeth Jaguar was one of the best college hockey players I watched play back when she was in the ECAC, and you see her be patient with the puck on this. She goes around Arcangelo, keeps possession, waits for Soderbergh to go down and lifts the puck into the upper part of the net that was wide open because of that patience. And Jaguar, a great finisher when she was in school. She hadn't had her first goal yet. I was surprised by that. I talked to head coach Howie Drape. They are watching a great game once again between these two teams. 1-1 with 2.03 to go in the second period. Downey Landry leaves it down the wall. Bourbonnet's shot is sticked aside by Soderbergh. Bourbonnet plays it down once more. Well, ever since those power play chances for New York, the ice has felt like it's tilted a little bit for even game in terms of shots after Boston was really dominant to begin the period. That gets through! They score! A lot of traffic in front of the net. Bourbonnet just throws it on, and New York has scored two in a row and takes a two-to-one lead. This has been a resilient second period for sure from New York as we get a chance to see the keep in out the point by Bourbonnet and she just drives it towards the goal. This is more than likely gonna get reviewed for goaltender interference just based on the contact that happened in the crease. It looks like Eldridge was right there out in front, so, but if yeah, you say that Fracken pushed her in. This is going right now, playing up a goal. Yeah, slowing things down, not letting Boston transition. You see another pass picked off by Downey Landry. New York, who has won twice in this building already this year. Downey Landry, who scored three times in the first game between these two teams back on January 20th. Mueller dumps it in. Tapany back on it. Behind for Knight. She cycles around with this top unit. Knight's got it back from Mueller. It rolled off her stick momentarily before it was played on to Sidney Morin. Around for Mueller once more. So good from there, but Bourbonnet just makes a great defensive play to take Mueller out. Then a centering pass, they score! What a job by Boston to stay with that all the way. And it's Sophie Shirley who ties the game at two. Well, she's doing the right thing here, heading towards the goal, expecting that this pass might come back out in front. Tavity doing a good job shielding the puck. Sends it on the backhand to Shirley. Carpenter had lost her in coverage a little bit, kind of watching the puck, and then all of a sudden, Shirley's in behind her. Downey Landry was there as well, wasn't able to get the stick on it, so Shirley found a little bit of space. Both of these teams winless over their last couple of games. Boston had dropped two in a row. New York three straight and winless in their last four. Tapany comes in, goes wide, throws it on, stick to side by Levy to start. Tapani reaching forward away from Shelton. We've seen in the three-on-three, -three, both teams will be extremely patient, willing to give up the zone in order to reset a bit. 
It's all about possession, so That's you don't right. want to turn it over. Shirley comes in a goal score. He throws it back. What a save. Then the rebound try up high, and Levy fought off two in a row on this Shirley Knight and Emily Brown grouping. That last one kind of stunned her a little bit. It caught her up high. She let the rebound bounce back out in front of her, but Shelton was able to grab it. So Shelton will start up for New York and cycle back. Each of the first three shots of the overtime belong to Boston. Up to 44 now in the game, compared to 23 on the other side. Eldridge comes in with speed. Brown got a piece of it, but Eldridge is right back on it. Cycling around to the middle. Eldridge leaves it for Zandy Height. Here is Downey Lantry. Rattray the closest to her, and that's taken away. Out front is Hannah Brandt. Behind for Rattray, save, rebound, score!